Are you worried about your debt? Does it lead you to have anxiety, fear and worries? Credit Canada has released a new survey painting a picture of a bit of a dysfunctional relationship that we have with our debt in this country. The new numbers reveal 47% of Canadians who have debt believe it's got a negative impact for them on their lives, including feelings of guilt and also shame. Keith Emery is standing by in our studios. He is the Operations Director for Credit Canada. They are a great nonprofit charity that provides free credit consulting to Canadians. Keith, good to have you with us on CTV. Thank you for this. Thanks, Todd. Nice to be here. So what is dysfunctional debt? Um, well, our clients at Credit Canada repeatedly talk about the, the negative impact that debt's having on them. And they're often using not financial terms, but terms that might be related to their emotional and physical well-being. So we wanted to explore this concept of a toxic relationship with debt and how it sometimes the way that debt makes them feel similar to what you might feel if you're in a bad personal relationship. Interesting. Toxic is a great word. Let me ask you, uh, who does it impact the most among Canadians? Um, in the study, it, was, it, it affected everyone across a broad spectrum, but we saw particularly uh, millennials and parents uh, were having some of the most negative relationships with debt. Interesting, we're showing some of the numbers here. 47% believe it's had a negative impact. 53% uh, have negative feelings, uh, also frustration that they're never able to move forward. And that's a key one too. This yeah. idea that no matter how much you pay off, no matter mm -hmm. how much consulting you get and counseling you get, you're still kind of always under the thumb. Yes, yeah, exactly. People feel that they can't get out. I think a lot of them don't realize the impact that high interest can really have on them. And even if they start cutting back on spending, they might still not be able to dig their way out. And that's when they just, some of them just sort of throw their hands up and say, you know what, I'm always gonna be in debt. This is just part of my lives. And we wanna offer a message that you can get out of this. Um, if you take the right steps. Absolutely. And, you know, we cover this a lot here on the program about how Canadians are going deeper and deeper into debt. What would some advice be, you know, if, if folks want to sort of break up with their debt, so to speak, Keith? So kind of our, our key messaging is, um, first of all, you're not alone. Um, this isn't about you. Um, second of all, it, it is possible to overcome debt. And, and number three, we don't want you to let your debt define you because we find the, the first issue isn't necessarily do you have the financial means to get out of debt, but do you have the, the emotional confidence to get out of debt? You know, can you take the steps that you need to take? Um, you can meet with a credit counselor. They can sit down and at least start to talk to you because sometimes just emoting about your situation is the first step towards recovery. There's some great other things that I want to mention before we let you go, Keith, uh, sort of the impact that it has and how it makes people feel. And, and in this survey you guys did at Credit Canada, you walked through a couple of them. Uh, makes me feel depressed, makes me feel embarrassed. I feel guilty. I feel like a failure. I'm hopeless. And I'm even worthless. It, yeah. It's fascinating to think yeah. about that kind of an impact, right? I know. That it has on people. What do you think's going on? Um, you know, I, I think people are internalizing it. Um... You know, in particular with the millennials, you know, one concern that we had was these are people who are just trying to get on their feet financially. They might have other insecurities around getting their situation started. Um, they've been, you know, encouraged maybe to take on debt or not really understood what the impact would be. And so this just kind of adds to their sense that they're, they're financially not making it. Um, and we just want to let them know that, um, you know, this is happening all across the board. As you said, we've seen it in terms of overall debt levels. Um, and it's not just about them and that, uh, that there are ways for them to get out of it if they start thinking positively. Keith Emery with Credit Canada, a nonprofit charity that provides free credit counseling to Canadians. Great to have you on, Keith. Thank you for this today. Thanks, Todd.